Hey everyone, it's me, Sachita. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Today in this video, you know, someone, I don't know, I'll try to put that comment here and I really like this idea. So this video is specially for you. So the thing is, uh, someone asked me this question that how was my interview experience when I was trying to look for a job here in Dubai and I did give my interview with uh, this one, um, uh, Ministry of Education. So what was my experience and what all questions they asked for me. So today, in this video i'm going to share all those questions how did i answer uh, obviously i got selected i'm here in front of you so let's start with this video before that if you are someone who are here for the first time on this channel myself suchita i'm making content for my teacher community and trying to help them providing a helping hand to get a job outside india and also some good opportunity in india so stay tuned with this welcome to this community join and let make it stronger day by day so without any delay let's start today's video So I remember my experience. First of all, when I went, they tried to make me a little comfortable and, you know, they asked some basic questions like, uh, what's my name? What's my family background? And like, you know, from where all I did my education, what was the medium, what all subjects I did in my master's, my graduation, like those kind of questions. They tried to check my communication, how good I am with handling, uh, like the language, especially English. And uh, like, you know, they tried to make me comfortable after this, uh, like, you know, round of I can say around three to four minutes we discussed all these basic things and then after they started the main questions I must say the uh, like you know the main question and on what they spend the maximum time and if I would suggest to you also if you are going to apply for an interview outside or if you are going to face an interview outside do prepare this question the question was how you will manage the level of students in your class how will you keep all the low achievers and high achievers and the medium ones on the same level in your class how you plan your lesson by keeping everyone in mind so how did I handle this question I told them like you know obviously as a teacher I need to keep all the children in uh, like you know one level uh, I try to make the high and low achiever uh, achieve the same goals with the different ways what I do well I prepare my lesson I prepare the differentiated activities what did I mean by that differentiated activities means when i will teach i will just simply teach by using the simple language but when i will uh, plan the activities in my lesson i will do some activities in which i do provide the hints in between and some activities i will ask little high level questions where i will not provide any hint so that's how i prepare two three type of activities and to the high achiever i will give them the time to do by theirself in between i will go and help uh, the low achiever groups so i divide my class into the groups maybe four to five groups depending keeping one level of students in one group one level in a, the medium one in one group and the high achievers are in one group so that when the high achievers are doing they can like you know solve the questions by themselves and i can go personally and help that group of the low achievers so that i they all can reach the same level of the high achiever group apart from that I do keep some questions extra because a high achiever will quickly finish the task and they will try to make the class noisy. So I will definitely keep some questions uh, side by side or some small task side by side so that as soon as they finish, I will provide them that task. Okay, do this one now. That will be a bonus task. And in between, I will try to push the middle and the low achievers to reach the same level. So that was my answer and uh, they were pretty much satisfied with that. After that, in the next question, they did try to find, find out how, how much experience I am and uh, what all curriculum and challenges I faced during uh, like, you know, my last years of my teaching experience. So they did ask what was the chapter you taught last or maybe last week so i did tell them like you know i was doing acid and base and then they asked some questions about it how did you plan this lesson and how did you do the assessment of this lesson and did you take the students to the lab uh, during this lesson and how many time you take the students to the lab in a week so like that these kind of questions they ask and they try to check my experience so what do keep in mind that they will definitely ask you what 
is happening in your job which you are doing currently now so you be better prepared with such kind of questions so uh, i did teach uh, like you know at that time i was teaching acid and base only so some things were really in my mind i told them uh, one time i took the students to the lab and usually it's depend on the classes also like if a topic which really requires some hand on activity so i take the students two time uh, to the lab in a week otherwise the uh, chapter which doesn't have much so i try to keep one time uh, like in a week to the lab visit and i try to focus on some other activities which hand on activities which we can do in class only and will not require the uses of lab that's how i manage this question and show that uh, yes i really do have experience of a good experience of lab and theoretical classes next question they try to check like you know how open i am to move to a new country so they did ask what my husband is doing and you know what my, uh, what all responsibilities i have on my head so he, they did ask like you know if i'll move tomorrow maybe next week uh, to the uh, country then how my husband will stay like will he stay here in, in india only or will he come with me to the uh, like you know job place or my uh, how many children i have so i did tell them openly yes my husband and my child will move along with them as my husband is an interior designer so he do have the more scopes there in that country so he will definitely take a move and the child will also come along so in that way i am giving them the surety if you will hire me i will going to stay there for long because if someone who has like children and family in india they will definitely not able to spend a long long time there in that country with that job for like you know definitely for a long period of time after that the question was regarding the cultural acceptance they did ask like what religion i belongs to and uh, because uh, like you know somewhere there are differences in terms of uh, Uh, religion practices so they did ask my views how open i am for the other religion so you must be very open and like you know acceptance should be there in your nature to accept all the different religion and uh, uh, the con- uh, different country people with open heart you should not be someone with ha- have like you know uh like some solid uh, i can say positive view about your religion but will not be able to uh, like you know, accept the other religions with that open heart so you should be very flexible and you should be very open minded in that terms so i did answer such questions and uh, that was like you know my experience after that you know some questions related to the demo which i have given in the next round so there they asked the uh, this one the uh, subject related so this was the part of the general interview and after that i did have a demo okay i'll tell you all the three parts so in my selection the first round was a written one so that was a multiple uh, mcq based question and that uh, was similar to the igcsc curriculum so i did give for chemistry for higher classes so the questions and the topics were related to the igcsc curriculum i found and all were mcq questions second was this interview which i shared with you right now and the third one was the demo round so they did ask me to give a demo of my choice of any topic so 15 minutes i taught that and then they did uh, like you know cross questioning related to that demo or and they did ask some subject related topics in that round so that was my experience i hope it really helped many of you and if you really like this video then definitely go and like you know comment down in the comment box so that i will really get appreciation your love and support means a lot to me we are really near to 50k we are almost 56 and half k so i uh, like you know give a shout and really ask the community to help and join this hand and make us reach to 50k as soon as possible so this will be a new year gift to me from all of you so please help please spread the word share with your colleagues and your friends who really need these videos and make them a part of this community and make us stronger that's all for today have a nice day bye bye